Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is Free PBX 101 version 15 part 22 where we are going to step away from Free PBX just for this one video in order to show you an IVR design. When we design and build IVRs or auto attendants for our customers, essentially we're talking about the inbound call flow, right? How are calls routed into the organization and what options do you have to distribute those calls efficiently throughout the organization? As part of Crosstalk's turnkey installation service, we offer this type of best practice inbound call routing design. We actually do it live on the phone with customers so that we can have a back and forth dialogue about the best way to do things, what we recommend as best practices and what the customer wants to do for that, you know, whatever works best for their own organization. So now let's look at the IVR design that I have come up with for Dunder Mifflin, right? Our fictional company that we are basing this series on. And this is very similar to the type of thing that I would build for any one of our customers. And it looks really complicated. You got all this uh, boxes and diamonds and all this sort of stuff going all over the place, but we're gonna step through it from start to finish so that we understand what each of these things is. And we are going to completely implement this IVR over the next sort of 10 videos or so, because we have a lot of stuff that we're touching on in here. This is purposefully designed to basically touch a lot of aspects of free PBX. You may never actually build an IVR that uses everything that we use in this particular design. Okay, so here is our main phone number coming in from the public switch telephone network. When this number comes in, it is hitting a CFC, also known as a call flow control. In free PBX, a call flow control is essentially just a toggle switch. You can think about it as like a railroad switch, right? Where if you switch one way, the train goes down this set of tracks, and if you switch it the other way, the train goes down this other set of tracks. That's exactly what we're doing here. It's a manual toggle, and in this case, we're using it for weather control. So for instance, if this company has inclement weather and no one is gonna be in the office that day, we can hit star 280, which is a feature code for this call flow control, and it will redirect all of those calls down here to an announcement where we say, thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed due to weather. Please leave a message, blah, blah, blah. And then we're gonna dump that into a general voicemail box. Under normal circumstances, when there is no weather incident, calls are gonna flow straight through this CFC and into one of, into the first of two different time conditions. The first set of time conditions is to determine if we are in a holiday or not. So 4th of July or Thanksgiving or whatever holidays we might happen to have on our calendar. So we're gonna check, hey, is today a holiday? And if it is, we're gonna to go to a holiday announcement and then again, dump into that general voicemail box. If it is not a holiday, we're gonna come over here to our main time condition, which then routes calls based on business hours. So the business hours that we're using for this time condition are gonna be Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Anything outside of those business hours is gonna be considered closed and we're gonna play a closed announcement and once again dump everyone into a general voicemail box. If we are open during these business hours, we're gonna come over here to a main IVR. Now IVR is basically where you can say, thank you for calling, press one for this, press two for that, and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here. You can see I have a system recording for this IVR, thank you for calling. If you know your project's extension, you can dial it at any time, press one for this, two for that, etc. Again. We will cover all of this in great detail in subsequent videos. So for, from the IVR, we basically have four different options. If you press zero, or if you don't press any digits at all, you time out, or if you press an invalid digit, all three of those options are gonna bring you to our receptionist ring group, which if not picked up, will end up in the general voicemail box. If you press option one for sales, that's gonna ring our sales queue, which again, if not picked up, or if you time out of that queue, we're gonna end up at the sales voicemail box. So not the general voicemail box, but a separate voicemail box just for sales. And then we're gonna come down here to queue customer service. If you press two, 
Same thing, we're gonna end up in, well this says sales voicemail box, but this is actually supposed to say customer service voicemail box. I will fix that. And by the way, this IVR design will be available for you to download and reference. I will put a link to it down below so that you can download it and follow along with this, you know, print it out on a piece of paper if you want. Finally, if you press three for accounting, we're gonna create a ring group for accounting. And if no one picks up that ring group, we're gonna have an announcement for accounting no answer. And then we're gonna go directly into Angela's voicemail box. Okay, so this is the IVR that we're gonna implement in this particular series. So download the PDF of this, follow along for the next few videos. And we're gonna start with system recordings. That is coming up in the next video. We will see you there.